Hello guys, another video from my car as every Saturday and today I want to talk about one of the most typical mistakes of junior developers in terms of negotiations and talking to managers. And it doesn't only happen with junior developers, with any developers it could happen. So what if you get the question, can you do that feature? Can you implement this? Can we deliver that? Typically, of course, you say, yes, I can, or yes, we can, we can deliver, because you want to please your manager, your boss, or whoever is asking, and you don't want to admit that it would be hard to implement the thing that they are asking for. Imagine in this scenario, in reality, you have no idea whether you would be able to deliver, or you don't even have the skills. So, for example, if someone is asking you to implement something with Laravel Excel package, and in practice, you haven't even used that package before, you have only read about it, you know about it, but you haven't actually even tried, but you still promise that, yes, we can deliver, I can do that, and stuff like that. I've seen time and time again that this causes major issues, major troubles, not only for the developer themselves, but for managers and for business owners. So, for example, think about the situation from business owner perspective. They are not developers, they are asking like, hey team, hey guys, can we deliver something because we need that for the client next week? Then the manager is asking the developer, developer is saying, okay, sure, we can do it. And then the client receives a promise from a business owner, like, yes, we can deliver next week. And then if developer cannot deliver on time, imagine what happens. The business over promises and doesn't deliver, then the trust from the client is lost. And then it means financial loss. Of course, it's a pretty drastic example and not every time it happens this way, but just think from a business owner perspective. Or it could happen on any level. For example, your teammate developer is waiting for you to deliver your part and they are stuck with their part until you deliver and then you are struggling because you overpromised, and then it's rolling from there. So my point here, if you are not sure you can deliver, or even worse, if you haven't used that technology that they're asking for, be honest. Of course, I understand that you don't want to admit that you don't know something, but honesty is a better answer here. And in fact, you don't have to say, no, I can't deliver. You should say something like, I don't know. Or maybe the best answer would be something like from the Matrix, not sure if you remember or you have seen the scene of helicopter on the roof when Neo is asking Trinity, can you fly that thing, the helicopter? And she's calling the operator to download the instructions and saying, not yet. I cannot fly that thing yet. Of course, in her case, she had an advantage of operator and she was absolutely sure that they can download the instructions for her. In real life, it's not that black and white, but generally it's pretty good answer. Can you deliver? I'm not sure, but I will do my best and I don't have experience in this and that and I would need the help for someone else, from someone else. And let's plan how can we deliver or maybe we can deliver not in full, but only some parts. Let's have a conversation about it. That way you admit that you don't know something, but at the same time you promise to do your best to deliver what you can and you don't overpromise means that the business doesn't overpromise to their clients and you all live in reality instead of living in a dream world. So in general, don't be a yes man because it doesn't serve anyone, including you or your managers. That's my message for today. That's it. And see you guys in other videos.